The song's been a bit of a trip for us. He cut there. That's probably like his second, like second of him going in. He cut that real quick and like it just reverb echoes out and just transitions. It all kind of started with the music. We had something that me and Nick really liked and we showed it to Wayne and he was feeling it too. So he right there and then just started laying down his vocal part what would eventually become the chorus. I can see the catacombs underneath my mind. Take a look around and you can tell me what you find. Everything is copacetic, but you know I'm right. We really wanted to try and branch out and start working with other people. We got a bit of help from a couple producers uh, from Nashville, Aaron and Andrew, turning the knobs and getting all kinds of crazy sounds. Shit ain't what it seems. <laughs> Wayne had a good friend by the name of Kobe who uh, has some pretty interesting stuff. His verse, you know, is just so out there, but it also felt just right for what we were going for. So it's lost in the wind. It's lost in the wind by, by the creep. So, so bump on the log on it, kind of like, uh. <laughs> We also have our good friend that we met on the road, PK, who's a fantastic singer, and he was interested in collaborating with us a little bit, so we showed him the track, and he felt like he could do something with it. What, you don't think, you don't think that idea is a thing? All right, he's taking the headphones off, it's over. I'm in punishment now. What is, the, what is the inspiration? The song is kind of laid out in different chapters. Like each section of the song is its own statement. It makes the song feel like it has a story to it. Take a look around and you can tell me 